Recently, my YouTube feed has been filled up with videos about Minecraft and why it's no longer fun, what update ruined the game, or why it's still fun and you're just nostalgic. Lots of these explanatory videos. And while many of these videos make excellent points, I think that something that a lot of them fail to touch on is the fact that while the game has changed, so have you, the player. Sometimes it's hard to realize how much you've changed over the last decade or more. You often feel like the same person. I know that that's the same for me. I don't necessarily feel that much different than I did when I was 11, 12 years old in terms of personality, what my interests are, and how I think about things. But I have changed, and so have you. We've lost, I think, a lot of our imagination. A lot of the world is been explained to us. We've seen a lot of the realities of the world, especially the last few years. If you're my age, about 26, and you started playing Minecraft when you were about 11, then you went through high school, college, and then the pandemic, and now you're in early adulthood. Things are just different now. We have more things on our mind. We have responsibilities. We don't have the time to just sit around and play Minecraft for 10 hours a day anymore, like we used to on summer vacation or Christmas break. But it's not just our circumstances that have changed. Our minds have changed. I think that many of us are less creative than we were when we were 11 years old. Something about that empty, blocky world where there was nothing but possibilities. There were no buildings yet, no villages. Just you and the mobs and the blocks. It created this deep sense of wonder and imagination. What could be around the corner in this cave? What could I build? In the early versions of Minecraft, the mechanics were pretty sparse. Really all that you, the player, were able to do was mine and place blocks. There was no crafting beyond just the crafting table. There was no enchanting. There was no potions. No trading, no villages, no bosses, nothing. The world was a blank canvas, and you were able to impose your will on it. And as a child, that meant unlimited possibility, especially when you were a child, when you didn't have the agency that you do now as an adult. You were able to take a world and make it your own. You were able to do whatever you wanted, however you wanted, whenever you wanted. But now you have that ability in real life and so, to play the game, you feel as though you're missing something. You have agency now, and so this game that is all about agency doesn't really feel like it's fulfilling in the same way. Now, I don't think this applies to all video games. Even as an adult, there are many video games that I love playing. Many old games. Company of Heroes 2, I play almost every day, at least one or two games with my friends. And it's the same game over and over and over again, but different scenarios, different players, and you understand the mechanics and you utilize those to try to win, but that's the objective is to win. You want to see that victory screen. With Minecraft, there really is no objective. Sure, you can beat the Ender Dragon, you can fight all the bosses, but after you've done that a couple of times, especially if you've done it alone, it just doesn't feel the same the next time, and the time after that, and the time after that. Any more in Minecraft, I just like to farm, build a nice little cottage on a pretty vista, look out over the blocky sunsets. My builds are nowhere near as extravagant as they were when I was 13 or 14. And even when I join a server with friends, it just doesn't last as long as it used to. And that's okay. All good things must come to an end. Minecraft's just not for us anymore. It's for the next generation. We'll always have the memories, and you can always load into your old worlds just to explore and play around a little bit. Say hello to your dog and harvest your crops. But we have our own lives now, our own worlds to build. And if there's anything that Minecraft taught us, it was that progress, no matter how slow, even just one block at a time, can transform the whole world.